welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to continue with our order of vampire hunters um unboxings and we have four to go on with now we have tori saibatsu we have breath we have crawlers but we're starting off this one with Nibora and the Jarakara, which looks like this. So let's get down to the table and see what's inside. Okay, here we go. So we have Nibora and the Jarakara. Jarakara, Jarara, Jararaka, Jararaka. However you pronounce it, it's that word for Jararaka. Jarakara. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So let's have a look at the back of the box. We have uh, one Vibora and Culebra Mini, six Jararaka miniatures, two Vampire ID cards and one Rule Sheet. And it says at the top, Reptilian Horror Awaits. The Elder Vibora leads her Jarakara, or Jararaka min minions as the Knight extends its influence. Watch out for Culebra. Vibora's deadly snake, Vibora <coughs> and the Jararaka can be added to any order of vampire hunter games, either together or separately. And there we are. That's what it says at the top. I thought it was all in uh, image, but it wasn't. Sorry. So let us ooh, open up and see what's inside. And there we go. So there's the minis. And we have a little piece of paper here. The Bora and the Jarraka. <clears throat> and it just gives, again, the uh, contents. It gives a little bit of flavour text about them, background story. And um, it tells you a little bit of how to use them and has some nice um, imagery as well. So I'll put that to one side and we'll open up the set of larger cards and we have the Jararaka, that's the daylight phase and that's the nighttime phase <coughs> and then we have Vibora. And we have, well that's it, just the, that's the Elder card, that's for Bora. There we go. And now we have our little cards to deal with. Pop open. And, oops. We need to have a look at these, don't we? Because we've got the others as well. Uh, let's just put the larger cards back in the little plastic envelope. Put them to one side. And we start off with activation night cards, activation day cards, and the rest are all encounters. So let's have a look at the encounters first. We've seen plenty of these before, but it's nice to have a look to see what's what. Now I noticed on some of them the different colours. I don't know why. Um, <coughs> but uh, they are. Um, I can't remember which expansion it was that they were actually different colours. Hmm. Don't ask. <laughs> Next, I have one our activation day cards. There's two of these, so there they are side by side. And. So we'll put the activation night cards, and again there's two of them, so here they are side by side. Hopefully you're able to do a pause, <coughs> uh, pause image on those and see them clearly. But now let's have a look at the Jararaka. And let's zoom in a touch. There we go. 
Seems to be female. Again, as I say, nice miniatures. Um, again, not as big. As I was saying yesterday, they're not up to the Mythic Battles Pantheon or the Conan uh, quality, but they are smaller minis, and the quality we have really nice. Trying to work out ah those they are wrapped around her. <laughs> Couldn't exactly work out where the where her arm was. Oh well. And also in all of those, they seem to be missing an arm. And the picture shows and they're having two arms. And now we have Vibora and her snake. Nice mini, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, with the face, I'm not sure how well the detail is going to hold up there after spraying, but we'll give it a try, see how it goes. Um, but that's it for that box. Next, let's have a look at the crawlers. Oops, you can see, here's the crawlers. Um, and on the box it says five crawl miniatures, one vampire ID card, one rule sheet. Uh, crawlers are from the ground. Crawlers are underground creatures bursting through the floorboards to make surprise attacks on the hunters. The rules include three options for using the crawlers to change the difficulty of the game, making it easier, harder, or about the same. You control how much damage the crawlers, oh, sorry, the hunters face. Crawlers can be used in any order of the vampire hunters game. So, let's open up and see what we have. There's the minis. <coughs> and we have the sheets here. Um, there we go. A picture of the box art. And then we have, again, contents list, backstory, and the rules on how the minis are used. There we go. And then the card, I'll leave it in the wrap because there's only one. Um, that's the nighttime activation card. And that's the daytime activation card. There we go, that's all we have. But now let's have a look at the minis themselves. Tip them out and zoom in a little bit. And here, and here we have them. Really weird looking creatures. So we have one. Two. Three. Or there's a lot of little details in these. They may not look much of a model to paint, but when you look at the amount of detail that's in these models, there's a lot going on. And finally, number five. There we go. Oops. So, they're the crawlers. Uh, pop them back into the little pack. And we'll carry on now and do... Yeah, the Tori Zaibatsu. Which are these. This is a... Um, Chinese-based... Or Japanese-based... Um, 
team. Uh, so new hunters enter the order. Uh, recruit the leaders of Tori of Zaibatsu to face the creatures of the knights. The expansion contains all you need to add four new hunters to any order of vampire hunters game. Just take one, take all four, it's your choice. The team includes special ability cards that are dedicated to each hunter that, uh, that increase their strength when they hunt together. Uh, we have four miniatures, four hunter ID cards, four basic weapon cards and four special ability cards. So let's get these open and see what we have. <coughs> Here are the cards of the hunters. As per usual, we'll look at the cards first. <coughs> so we have a little resealable pack with the smaller cards in. Um, these we have special ability cards. There we go. Let's just zoom in a touch. Iron Fang Defense. Big Brother. Protect the Young. And Revenge. They are the uh, those cards. Um, what will be again? Special ability cards. And next we have the um, the bigger cards. I may have to zoom back out again. Not quite sure yet. We will find out some of it. And there we are. We have in fact let's separate the cards and put these properly. Okay so we have the character card or Isamu along with the flip side which is when he's turned Kukiko and we have Akihiko these are uh, Japanese I think and We have Ray or Rai. Again, with the crossbow held at an angle. I don't know why they do that. There we go. And we have noisy beggars outside. Oh well. Right, and we have Isamu's ability card. I think that's what these are. Again, exactly the same as the other ones. So I'm not going to show all three. They're all, in fact, yeah, I'll show all three, all, all three, all four. They're all exactly the same. Zero three five zero three five plus zero three five plus zero three five plus. I think they're all the same as a standard one. So we have Kukiko, Akihiko, Ray, Andy Samu. Those are the cards. Now the important bit. The minis. I'm not going to attempt to try and work out who they are. We're just going to have a look at some lovely, lovely little oriental based or oriental themed miniatures. How lovely does that look? That was one of them. And um, their own difference. This one is Mulder Shogun, or Samurai rather. So far we've had a geisha, a ninja, a samurai. The sumo. <laughs> we had the great big gun. It's actually cannon by the look of it, but hey. Really, really nice minis.
and oops, put these to one side. What I'm trying to do is put these back so they actually fit. <laughs> That's the hard part. It's, it's easy taking things out of the box. Not quite as easy putting things back in. I found. <laughs> right. Finally, for this video, we're going to be having a look. Let me just zoom out. Just want to have a look at Brith. So that's the front of the box, the back of the box. One Brith miniature, one Burst Brith miniature, two Vampire ID cards and one rule sheet. It says, Brith, the blind, bloated elder vampire with a hidden danger. When hunters first face Brith, they will see a terrifying and strong elder, but as he struggles, as the struggle draws to a close, they will discover a disgusting surprise. Brith bursts open and its belly tentacles emerge. Elder gains new strength and ranged combat ability. The fight has only just begun. Brith can be used in any order of vampire hunter games. So, there we are. This is Brith. Let us open up and see what's inside. I'll move the minis out of the way. And yep, that's everything we have. <coughs> The sheet, uh, contents list, a uh, little bit of uh, background story, <clears throat> um, how to add to the hunts and gameplay, and uh, little examples of a little example of gameplay, uh, along with how to use the ranged vampire attacks. So that is the sheet. Now let's have a look at the cards. Um, <clears throat> this is the Elder Vampire, and we have two cards. This is the first one. Oops, this is the main mini, and then we have the Burst Breath. Um, now that's done, put these to one side and we'll have a look first of all at Brith. Let's just zoom in a touch. So there's Burst Brith. Sorry, this is normal Brith. With these arms here, with the spikes on the end. Sure as yet how I'm going to paint some of these, <laughs> but there we are. That's that was Brith, and now let's have a look at Burst Brith. Oh wow! That's looking quite. Ugh. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting mini to paint because we're trying to get in the back of the two. <laughs> with the brushes. Um, as you can possibly imagine it's going to be quite difficult but we'll see what we can do. There we are. So that is Brith and Burst Brith. Hope you've enjoyed these this video. Um, in this one we saw Vibora and the Jararaka. We had a look at um, the crawlers, we had a look at, sorry, Zaibatsu, and closed off with Brith. One more video to go, which is the last of the big box expansions. I've kept it to last, for obvious reasons, when we start it. So, that's all we have for this video. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.